All right, so I just finished core two of the Thousand Year Blood War, and bruh, this this fellow right here is just not a good guy. I don't know if it was a gut feeling. I don't know if it was off instinct. I don't know if it was my own skin trying to tell me something, but I always had an innate feeling that this right here is not a good guy. Look at his face. Look at his facial expressions. Look at them eyes. I mean, all he did was replace the with the brush i ain't gonna lie when i was a kid i thought it would have been cool to be a bleach character to be in that bitch but i'll be damned i'll be damned now that i know that this nigga's running shit i'm good i dead ass would rather go 200 years back from 2023 than dibbling and dabbling in the soul society during this moment and fuck around and become a sacrifice now technically if i'm playing devil's advocate how much black does a man need before they're officially one of the brothers. How much black does a man need before they earn the Edward Pass? How much black does a man need before they can just invite themselves to the cookout? Gun to my head, I don't know who to root for in this battle. If I have to choose between Ichibe or you all, I might have to take the bullet, oh God. But then again, I might have to take that back because you all is definitely not innocent, but at the very least, you can sort of sympathize for him if you know the whole story. With Ichibe, you can take away the fact that he's one of the biggest racists in all fiction. He's still not a good guy. But let me chill on Ichibe. Let me not be too hard on him now because I sort of respect it. Number one, I got to give it to him because at least, at the very least, he showed some mercy and spared the queen. Imagine Yoroichi getting that Robin treatment, that Nico Robin. Now, I'm just trolling. She's still a bad bitch. But I'm just saying, though, like, imagine, you know what I'm saying? Number two, another reason why I got to give it to Ichibe is that he doesn't tolerate the disrespect. Yuha disrespects those around his name every second. He didn't like that. Then Yuha took his niceness for granted. Instead of taking the win-win offer that was thrown at him, he decided to disrespect his system that he's trying to maintain. <laughs> Yuha continued. He continued to disrespect his presence up until Ichibe was like, you know what? I had it. I'm going to take your eyes with me. Flash forward some years. Now you got Yuha pushing up to a spot uninvited. And Ichibe's like, bro, you know how this works? You got to check in first. Throwing his name around again, disrespecting him now in his own home. Ichibe was like, hell nah, bro. I ain't going for that. That's not how we move over here. Now it's time for a timeout. It's time for punishment. Now you got to catch these hands. No questions asked. You're getting this whooping, son. Bro, Yuha was that one kid that was getting an ass whooping just taking the shots eating them hoes and then his mom his pops was like nah now nah, i gotta kill you from that point on yuha just went out sad how, how you taking an l to a paintbrush he had you looking like goku or gohan with that motherfucking z sword now i'm really on your ass though how you get turned into a you ass nigga bro use the black lives matter and just hit a lick on your name <laughs> i promise you yuha was like if i'm getting taxed for my own name I might as well tax my own people too. He taxed his own people for a 50 pot. Now you know you lost the moment that bro pulled out the secret hotto sauce. When? I, I don't remember that. And then, and then, and then he got really disrespectful. It's one thing throwing his name around, disrespecting his system, disrespecting him in his own home. But it's a whole other thing. When you reaching into a man's pockets, you didn't even just reach into his pockets. You you try to become one with him like he's your bitch. At this point, each bay had enough. You all went way too far. He crossed the line. He he's trifling. So each bay was like, it's time to get racist. <laughs> nah, this is crazy though. Each <laughs> bay had you all looking like he black face it like you trying to be part of the team or something i don't know how much worse it could get than getting your name completely swiped and then getting stamped with a new one in the same day <laughs> stomped on smashed like a bug bro i don't care what you ha did in the manga there is nothing you can do to come back from this one bro but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video let me know how y'all feel about it <laughs>